न्यूमेरिकल थ्री ऑन लिमिटिंग रिएजेंट द क्वेश्चन इज फिफ्टी के जी ऑफ एन टू विच इज इन द गैसियस फॉर्म एंड टेन के जी ऑफ एच टू गैसियस फॉर्म आर मिक्स टू प्रोड्यूस एन एच थ्री दैट इज अमोनिया इन द गैसियस फॉर्म कैलकुलेट द एन एच थ्री फॉर्म Identify the limiting reagent on the production of NH3 in this situation. So let's solve this. We have been given certain masses of the reactant, and we would like to know how much will be the product formed from the reactants. And are these reactants are in the ratio what is required? or any one of this is in excess and will act as excess reagent or any one of this is in short or in the lesser amount than the required amount and will act as limiting reagent so to solve such problem first step is to write a balanced chemical equation so let's write the reaction what we are having is we are given n2 plus h2 giving us n h3 let's balance this equation so here it will be n2 we have 2 n here h2 so here it should be 3 so n2 plus 3 h2 giving us 2 n h3 so here our equation is Balanced. So, in terms of mole, we can write this as one mole of N two reacts with three mole of H two to give two mole of N H three. We have been given fifty kg of N two and Ten kg of H two. So the molar mass of N two will be equal to twenty eight grams as that of nitrogen is fourteen. So we have here N two. So the molar mass will be twenty eight gram, and H two will be equal to two point zero one six grams. H one hydrogen is equal to one point zero zero eight grams. So we have to find the number of moles of both reactant that is N two and H two. So number of moles of N two will be equal to mass. of a substance given to us in grams divided by the molar mass of the substance or number of moles of n2 which is equal to mass in gram here the mass is given in kg so we will convert the so i will write this as 50 into 10 raised to 3 Divided by what is the molar mass of the substance? Molar mass of the substance that is N two. Molar mass is twenty eight, which comes to one point seven eight six into ten raised to three mole. So let's find out number of moles of H two mass in grams. So now here it is given in terms of kg. That is ten kg is given. Convert it to grams. So it will be ten into ten raised to three divided by molar mass of the substance. That is H two is two point zero one six. The answer of this, that is the number of moles of H two, is four point nine six into ten raised to three mole. So we have now 
वन पॉइंट सेवन एट सिक्स इंटू टेन डेज टू थ्री मोल ऑफ एन टू एंड फोर पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स इंटू टेन डेज टू थ्री मोल ऑफ एच टू दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड अमाउंट वॉट वी हैव सो क्वेश्चन इज हाउ मच इज एन एच थ्री फॉर्म एंड वेदर ईच ऑफ दिस इज अ लिमिटिंग रिएजन टू फाइंड वेदर वी हैव राइट क्वान्टिटी वी हैव टू चूज वन ऑफ दिस क्वान्टिटी एग्जाम्पल वी कैन टेक नाउ एन टू we know that we have this many moles of n2 that is 1.786 into 10 days to 3 mole of n2 now as per the reaction one mole of n2 requires 3 moles of h2 to produce nh3 in a balanced chemical equation so here ratio is 1 is to 3 1 mole of n2 require 3 mole of h2 so for every 1.786 into 10 degrees to 3 mole of h2 of n2 how much of h2 will be required so we can find it like this 1 mole of n2 requires 3 mole of h2 so for 1.786 into 10 degrees to 3 mole of n2 how much is the moles of h2 required so this will be x moles of h2 let's cross multiply this and we'll get x is equal to 3 into 1.786 into 10 degrees to 3 moles of h2 and which comes to 5.36 into 10 degrees to 3 moles of h2 so for 1.786 into 10 degrees to 3 mole of n2 how much amount of h2 is required it is 5.36 into 10 degrees to 3 mole of h2 is required but we have what was the amount of h2 we have this we had calculated but we had just 4.96 into 10 degrees to 3 mole of h2 so we are running short of h2 so thus h2 is a limiting reagent so h2 is a limiting reagent then the amount of product form depends on the limiting reagent uh, that quantity determines amount of the product formed okay so let's go back to the balanced chemical equation i've written here a balanced chemical equation we know that now 3 moles of h2 requires how many moles of nh3 it requires 2 moles of nh3 now 3 mole of h2 requires 2 mole of nh3 so what is the value what we got we got it as 4.96 into 10 degrees to 3 mole of h2 requires x mole of nh3 so cross multiply we have 3x is equal to 2 into 4.96 into 10 degrees to 3 so x will be equal to 2 into 4.96 into 10 degrees to 3 divided by 3 the answer here is 3.30 into 
टेन रेज टू थ्री मोल ऑफ एन एच थ्री नाउ द मास ऑफ एन एच थ्री कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड बाय मोल्स इन टू मोलर मास वॉट इज द मोल्स मोल्स आर दस दैट इज थ्री पॉइंट थ्री जीरो इंटू टेन रेज टू थ्री इंटू वॉट इज द मोलर मास ऑफ एन एच थ्री एन एस फोर्टीन सो इट विल बी वन इंटू फोर्टीन प्लस थ्री इंटू वन विच कम्स टू फोर्टीन प्लस थ्री दैट इज सेवेंटीन सो हियर आई हेव टेकन इट इज सेवेंटीन सो आंसर हियर इज फिफ्टी सिक्स पॉइंट वन के जी आई हेव रिटर्न द आंसर इन टर्म्स ऑफ के जी सो द मास ऑफ एन एच थ्री फॉर्म दस फिफ्टी सिक्स पॉइंट वन के जी सो वी हैव द आंसर ऑफ आर क्वेश्चन दैट इज एन एच थ्री फॉर्म दस फिफ्टी सिक्स पॉइंट वन के जी इन द लिमिटिंग रिएजन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन इज एच टू दिस इज आर लिमिटिंग रिएजन एंड एन टू विल बी आर एक्सेस रिएजन Thank you